Yes. Oh, we usually have stuff. Oh, we're good. Oh. Are we on? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> good afternoon, Wolf Nation. I am Janie Harrell, and I am filling in for Mr. Wilson today. He sends his apologies. Uh, he sure hates that he can't be here, uh, but it couldn't be avoided. Um, it sure has been wonderful having our students back this week. We love all of our students, whether they are traditional, virtual, or blended. We are sure happy to have those back. Uh, just want to let you know we have a change in our current school calendar. September 23rd was supposed to be a virtual learning day for all students. We are no longer going to do this. It will be a regular school day. So if your child attends school traditionally and not virtually, send them to school that day. Do not keep them home. We will be on campus on September 23rd. Okay, uh, Ms. Cox, yes. would you like to begin? Yes, I, I don't really have anything new. Uh, normally I have a little bit of something new, but today I just want to let everyone know that uh, we are very happy to be back in school, in the classrooms. The kids are doing an awesome job wearing their masks, going through the temperature check. They, they've got where they can do that on their own. They just do it and go right on. So they go through re really quick. And so everything's been going real well. Our music class with uh, Mrs. Ward's going well. She's got little individual uh, instruments that they use in there for the rhythm and everything. And, and that's going real well. So, I mean, everything's going great. So, and I think the kids are happy to be back too. Yes, I think they are too. Yeah. Yes. Well, thank you, Ms. Cox. Okay, Mr. Rawls. Well, just kind of like Ms. Cox said, we're just happy to be back in session. And uh, we know the teachers are, are really happy. Also, the students also too. And everything's going really smooth. It really is. Uh, you know, we, uh, we're just going to keep things going in the right direction. And <laughs> Always remember, we have an open door. If there's something you need, to give us a holler. Uh, set up a meeting to come by and see us. So, you know, make, make sure you have your mask and everything else, and uh, we'll help you out. If you don't have one, we'll have one for you. Also, like I said, the students have done an outstanding job uh, uh, wearing their mask and everything else. And, uh, you know, we're excited. We're looking for good things the rest of this year. So, uh, come see us. That's all right. All right. Thank you, Mr. Rawls. Okay, Coach. What's well, going on in athletics? Athletics. We have a big football game uh, tomorrow night at Saddles Hall Central. We'd like to see everybody come out and support the Wolves. Uh, our cross-country team went to Acorn, was it yesterday or was it Tuesday? Y'all remember? Tuesday. Tuesday. And I believe they were, they were our boys were, uh, I think they were champions, which is, you know. Uh, I think the junior high boys were champions. Junior high. Seventh. What were they? Seventh, I believe. Oh, seventh. Okay, junior high. With kudos goes goes out to them, uh, and you know yesterday we we uh, we formed a new uh, uh, it's called the Hebner Athletic Gold Membership, and the purpose of it, as most of you are aware, that athletics is funded primarily through gate receipts and and fundraisers, mm -hmm. and because of COVID nineteen, of course, our attendance is 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 down, which is expected. So we decided to form a, uh, a start a member a gold membership, gold athletic membership, and it's ten dollars a month or one hundred and twenty dollars a year. And you know you can pay it monthly, you can pay it uh, all at one time, and all all the monies goes to help our athletes, you know, get the equipment and everything they need to compete and play in all the tournaments, everything that that we would normally do. Uh, and we started yesterday, and as of today, we already have four four gold members and I've had a few more phone calls and that really doesn't surprise me because the Hebner community and the alumni has always been very supportive and we're hoping that we get at least a hundred a hundred members in our uh, in our in our original drive It'd be nice to have two or three hundred but if you have any questions feel free to call me or you know or call Mr. Wilson or the Scott Center and we'll be more than glad to get you uh, enrolled. Uh, other than that, we have a big, like I say, big football game tomorrow night. We need uh, need a big win, and we hope everybody can come out and support us. All right, thank you, Coach. You're welcome. Okay, Mr. Craig, you have an update for us at the high school? Not really an update, but I'm 
Let me move this chair so I can. There you go. I got it. Yep. Not really an update, but uh, things are going very smooth at the high school, and we'd like to try to get more people that you know that's moved to other schools and everything to come back. Uh, we'd like to increase our enrollment and make Hebner School a great place for everyone. And anything we can do to accommodate you, we want everyone to come back and uh, go to school here. Make this a great place. And we can't do it without your participation. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, we have after school tutoring that is going to begin next week. Uh, we, Tuesdays and Thursdays at the elementary level for an hour each day after school. And this will be to help our students with uh, their homework and to help tutor them in their English and language arts and uh, their math and their reading. So this is a very good thing that we have going there. At the high school, Mrs. Farmer is going to uh, tutor after school for English and Mr. Westfall is going to tutor after school for math. Now those days aren't set like the elementary on Tuesday and Thursday because high school life is a little different than elementary life. So uh, they will let the students know uh, beforehand each week when the tutoring will be available for that, that week. Um, also, we need to make a final sprint for the census. It's very important if you've not filled out your census information, please, please do so. This is important for our, not only our school, but for our community and our state and our county also. So um, please, if you have not done that, take, take a few minutes and fill out your census. Has everybody in here done it? I have. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I have too. So um, I believe that's all, all we have for today. So I'd like to thank you, Craig, for coming and, sure. and uh, making this available to us. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Thank you.